What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. Today is the 1st of September, and I wish you a productive and successful academic course. In today's first lesson of the new season, we're going to learn 10 idioms related to new beginnings. Are you ready to expand your vocabulary? If so, grab a pen and your notebook and let's get the ball rolling. By the way, the idiom to get the ball rolling is level C2 and it means to start an activity. So, let's get the ball rolling. So, the first idiom we're going to learn today is to turn over a new leaf. To turn over a new leaf. It's also level C2 and it means to start behaving in a better way and get rid of bad habits. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, a lot of people intend to turn over a new leaf in September and start doing sport and eating healthily. A lot of people intend to turn over a new leaf in September and start doing sport and eating healthily. And the second example, it's time we turned over a new leaf and started living life to the full. It's time we turned over a new leaf and started living life to the full. Okay, let's move on to our second idiom, which is to start or to begin with a clean sheet. To start or to begin with a clean sheet. It means to make a fresh start, leaving past mistakes behind. And now a few examples. The first one, let's forget the past problems and start with a clean sheet. And the second example, I'm looking forward to starting with a clean sheet. Let's continue. Our idiom number three is to start from scratch or to start from zero. To start from scratch or from zero. It's level C1 and it means to do something from the beginning or to start from nothing. And now, a few examples. The first one, I'm not afraid of starting from scratch. I'm not afraid of starting from scratch. And the second example, she built a successful company from zero. She built a successful company from zero. And now let's move on to our idiom number four, which is to go back to square one. To go back to square one. It means that you have to start working on a plan again from the beginning because the first attempt has failed. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, the plan backfired, so we had to go back to square one. The plan backfired, so we had to go back to square one. The second example, after having worked on the website for the entire week, his boss told him it wasn't good enough and he had to go back to square one. After having worked on the website for the entire week, his boss told him it wasn't good enough and he had to go back to square one. Our idiom number five is to go back to the drawing board. To go back to the drawing board. This idiom has exactly the same meaning as our previous idiom, to go back to square one. And now, two examples. The first one, there was no consensus on a new layout and we had to go back to the drawing board. There was no consensus on a new layout and we had to go back to the drawing board. 
And one more example, don't tell me, we have to go back to the drawing board. Don't tell me, we have to go back to the drawing board. And guys, before we continue, I'd like to ask you to make sure you're subscribed to my channel and your notifications are turned on. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. And now let's continue with our lesson number six, out with the old, in with the new. Out with the old, in with the new. It means to leave old things, ideas, or even people behind and make a fresh start. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, I like to get rid of old clothes and stuff I don't use anymore. Out with the old, in with the new. I like to get rid of old clothes and stuff I don't use anymore. Out with the old, in with the new. And one more example, I didn't know you've got a new boyfriend. Out with the old, in with the new. I didn't know you've got a new boyfriend. Out with the old, in with the new. Let's move on to our idiom number seven, to open the door to something. To open the door to something. It means to make something possible. And now, a few examples. The first one, I hope this new academic course will open the door to professional growth and opportunities. I hope this new academic course will open the door to professional growth and opportunities. And another example, the breakup opens the door to a new love story. The breakup opens the door to a new love story. Okay, number eight, to break new ground. To break new ground. It means to do something different that hasn't been done before and to innovate. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, they're breaking new ground with their latest product. They are breaking new ground with their latest product. And one more example, it's hard to break new ground, but it's the key to success. It's hard to break new ground, but it's the key to success. Tomorrow to go, number nine, new blood. New blood. What do you think it means? We use this idiom to describe people who have a lot of energy and fresh ideas and who are likely to improve a company or a sports team. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, we need new blood to design our next campaign. We need new blood to design our next campaign. And one more example, a young football player has brought new blood to the team. A young football player has brought new blood to the team. And last but not least, one more C2 idiom, a breath of fresh air. A breath of fresh air. We use this idiom to describe somebody or something that is new and different and makes everything seem more exciting. And now, two examples. The first one, meeting him was a breath of fresh air. Meeting him was a breath of fresh air. And the last example, she's getting stale at work and needs a breath of fresh air. She's getting stale at work and needs a breath of fresh air. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this English bit and learned some new idioms. If there was a new idiom to you, please let me know in the comments below. And guys, I hope you're going to work hard 
on your English this academic course and I'll be here to help you with that every week. With that being said, thank you for watching this lesson. Please don't forget to give it a like, to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!